Okay, so now we're going to go over setting up the flight controller, get it prepped for the wiring. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tin some pads first. Uh, you want to use flux. It, the pads will take solder, but if you use a flux, this is either flux pen, you can get these off Amazon or eBay. Um, unfortunately, mine's dried up, so I'm not going to be using that. I've got this <laughs> good old Radio Shack uh, ro rosin solder flux. So this is a little dirtier to work with. It's real sticky. Um, you just got to be careful not to get it everywhere. I've actually uh, cleaned this up a little bit recently and got it uh, a little easier to work with. So I'm just going to use a little guy. So as we're going through and I'll uh, point out what we're going to solder up, I'll add a little flux to the pads before we go ahead and solder them up. So we've got our battery leads here, plus and minus. And then we're going to do one ESC. So I'm going to use the two center pads. Um, you got your plus and then your minus. So we're going to use a plus and a minus. Um, over here we've got S1 for a signal for our ESC and our ground. We're going to need those. Uh, and then we've got our camera and VTX signals, our grounds, and then 5 volts for the camera and a VBAT for the video transmitter. So we'll get those ready. Coming around to the other side, we're going to use <coughs> excuse me, servo inputs 3 and 4. So you'll see with this flux, this paste, I'm going to end up, um, after I tin it, I'll go back and clean it up with some alcohol. And then we're going to go ahead and do our LED pads up. Um, Buddy actually is not going to do LEDs right away, but I'm going to tin them up so that way they're ready for when we go in here to do that. we got our buzzer next. Buzzer, 5 volt and ground. S bus for our receiver. S bus, 5 volt ground and then we're going to do VT or sorry receiver and transmit for UART too so and last we're going to do this ST1 so we'll get some flex on those we'll go ahead and just put that off to the side we'll go ahead and start over here with our battery pads so we're negative and positive and we're just going to put the tip down on the pad and then feed solder to it Okay, so I've got everything soldered up now, but as you can see, it's real dirty. So, what I'm gonna do is take a cotton swab and some alcohol. And just clean it up. Okay, so now we have all those pads soldered up, we can go ahead and start to uh, give an idea of the layout. So, <clears throat> the flight controller is going to go in the wing like this. So, got that. And then, receiver is going to go over on this wing. Means the wires that came with it are not quite long enough. So, what I did is I went and I measured up some extra wire. I've got a little kit of just this, uh, this 24 gauge silicon wire they got off Amazon. It's great. Um, it's five, six, five colors. Um, so, I've got the red. Black. I went with yellow again, um, like it, they have on the receiver. So those are our three wires for that. And then I also have a green wire, which is just slightly longer for the S port. So on this tiny RXSR, Two pads right here 
and right here. And this pad that says P is for smart port. So there is a smart port pin on here, but it is inverted and we need an uninverted signal. So we need to get pull it from this pad on the receiver. So that green wire is going to go to that. So we've got that side. And then on the other wing, we're going to put our VTX. And it's going to go about like that. And again, this wire doesn't quite reach. So I'm going to run more wire that I cut to length already. So I've got these, and I've got the fourth wire. So I've got for power, ground, video, and then smart audio. This video transmitter does not have smart audio on it. But I'm going to run the wire anyways because once we put these wires um, on the bottom of the wing, they're going to be inside and uh, hard to get to. So um, plenty of wire here. I'm going to go ahead and solder these to our connectors for the uh, video transmitter and the receiver. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. transmitter over here so I had the same issue with mine um, I don't know why they made this hole so far away so what I'm going to do is take a blade real quick I'll get this on camera for you I'm going to cut out some of the foam here Oh, it just fits in there a little better. Oh, and that'll allow us to then flip it over and put the antenna on there. So for now I'm going to leave that off so that we can let it sit a little flatter. So we've got that. Now we're going to run these wires through this channel and then up through the top. You'll make sure your wires are staying down in your groove so that way you can get a good idea of the actual link you need. A little stick tack to hold them down in there. Also to remember your uh, servo wires are going to be going in the same track so um, just keep that in mind I guess as you're laying this out. 
Um, and then, as I said, I'm going to lay this blue wire in here with a little extra. And we'll pass that through. Okay, that's that side. I'm going to come over to the other wing. And I've got a receiver, again, the S port all in there. Just be very careful, that pad is not big and it pops off very easily. Um, so you want to make sure you try and keep that on there. For now, I'm just going to feed the wires through. We'll take care of later. Okay, so we've got the wires laid in there. They'll at least hold for right now. Again, this one's just a little extra for later, so that we don't have to run a wire. What I'm going to do is, once we get the servo wire in here also, I'm going to put some black electrical tape over. It just gives it a little nicer finish so it's all hidden away. So while we're here on the bottom, grab our motor. So we've got our motor here. So I'll grab that. A little bag of screws. Looks like all the screws that come with the S800 are the same length, so we'll be fine with any of these. Uh, I'm going to get the lock tight out also. Way more than enough lock tight. <laughs> you can make sure when you put this on, you put the motor wires down the bottom. It'd be pretty easy to fix, but I guess if you're doing this to the without the standoffs, you would want to make sure that you have those wires when you screw it to the actual glued on motor mount. I'm going to pass these through. And I'm just going to leave it open for right now. I'm starting to get 3D printed cover for my buddy.